everybody, this is Kristen and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, please hit the subscribe button down below. I make beauty, lifestyle, random, and like Disney videos. So if you like any of those things, then you should definitely subscribe. Um, today's video is going to be my September favorites and I actually had quite a few favorites. As you guys know, I don't usually do favorites on a monthly basis, but I had a lot of favorites this month that I really wanted to mention and share with you guys. And yeah, so without further ado, let's just get right into this video. So I wanted to start out with face because I have two new favorite face products and they're both by Fenty Beauty. Now I have oily skin as may, many of you may know. I have an oily T-zone and the rest of my skin is like normal I would say. But when I, came, when I heard about these two products that are a soft matte that are supposed to last a really long time and help the longevity of makeup, I thought I had to give it a try and I thought the price point was pretty good. It was high end, but at $34, you really couldn't go wrong with trying it. So I got both the primer, which is the soft matte primer, and the soft matte foundation in the shade 250 and these two have been a godsend. I put this on early in the morning at like 6.15 in the morning and then I head off to work. I'm there for eight hours, eight to nine hours and then I come home and I wear it all the way until I take a shower at eight o'clock at night. So it really stays on for at least 14 hours I would say and when I take it off at night it's not a foundation that just easily easily washes off with water you do really have to rub it off so that just tells you how long wearing it is and how great it is so these two have been an incredible lifesaver this month and I have a new favorite high-end foundation and primer continuing on with face I have a new favorite bronzer and I only have I've had this for quite some time so I don't believe they sell this anymore but I've only been using this because I've gotten a little bit too much sun and with the new foundation and my Rimmel Stay Bronze bronzer, um, that one doesn't really work as well with my tan, I guess. So I started to use the Loric Tantalizer Bronzing Duo. This is a highlight and matte bronzer duo. I haven't been using the highlighter because honestly, like the highlighter doesn't do much. But I've been using this bronzer and I like how matte it is. It's this kind of chocolatey almost terracotta brown and my skin tends to bronze a reddish brown so this works really well with my skin so it might not work with a lot of people's skin but this does work with mine and I just love the warmth it gives my face the definition and it just really helps um, with that overall overall warmth when I need to add it to my face in the morning so this has been a big helper the next thing I wanted to share with you is the highlighter that I've used a ton this month and it is by Milani and I haven't heard a lot of people talk about these so I don't know if they're not like they haven't really been advertised from what I know and I discovered them magically at Walmart one day and there were three different shades or four different shades. This one is the Milani Day Glow um, Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder and this is the second one so this is the second lightest. And this just gives your skin this really nice, like, glowy, almost glossy sheen. It's not like a shimmery bronzer it, or shimmery highlight. It really just gives your skin, like, a really soft but beaming, soft but beaming, if that makes any sense, um, highlight. And when I put this on, I just feel like it really blends into the skin. It kind of melts into my skin almost as if it were a cream, but it is a powder, and it just makes... It just makes your skin look really nice and smooth. It doesn't accentuate pores or anything. And I think this was $9 at Walmart. So if you guys haven't heard of these or if you haven't seen them, you should definitely take a, you know, look out for them and try to pick one up if you can. I also really quickly wanted to mention two other highlighters, but I'm not going to open them or go too in depth. But the new Fenty Beauty highlighters, I got Metal Moon and the Girl Next Door Sh Chic freak chic freak um highlighter duo so i got these two and i really like them because they're very unique in formula and they're very unique in shade so those are two new highlighters i've liked as well but my highlighter of the month is the milani one so continuing on with face this is a blush palette now they no longer make this blush palette but they do come out with a variation of a blush palette every winter for christmas and it is the tarte blush palette this one is the Pin Up Girl Blush Palette. It kind of looks like a clutch. It comes with two barrettes, which are really cute. And comes with five shades. Now, you guys probably have already seen the new Tarte ones that have like the circles or whatever, like the circular ones, and they have a lot of more, they have more shades. Oh, I'm sorry, I just shook the thing. 
they have more shades than this one does but this is a really great blush palette and it has a really great range of shades I have been using mostly these three here and those shades are Irreplaceable, Bashful, and Whimsy. And I've been kind of mixing them and then just using one or just using two of them, but they're really, really nice. Of course, they last all day because they're long wear blushes, but I have one on today and I'm just a huge fan and it's easy to kind of go to a go-to blush, which I absolutely love this formulation. It is my favorite blushes for blush formulation from any brand hands down. So moving on to eyes, I have two eyeshadow palettes. I've been really into doing a matte eyeshadow look in the morning. It's very easy. Then I can make my skin nice and glowy and then I can just kind of do a really simple eye look that just accentuates my eyes, makes my eyes look bigger and makes my eyes look more awake. So I've been going to this Tarte Poppy Picnic palette. Now again, this is not another, I think this is no longer available as well. But I really love this. And what I've been doing is I've been taking this shade to, sh to set my lid. This is my brow bone highlight. This I put into the crease for some warmth. And then my all over lid shade is actually this matte medium tone brown. And these have been my go-tos. I have a lot of mattes, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes I can use, but this one has just been speaking to me lately and I'm still on that kick, so I think that through October this is going to still be a go-to, but this is just a really great matte palette. I'm sure there's some kind of version of this or maybe this is still available, so if I can find it I will link it below, but if not, just any matte shadow and just I can maybe show you that go-to look if you guys want to see it, comment down below and I can do that for you. So the other eyeshadow palette that I've really loved is this one. This is called the Face Candy Sugar Palette. Now, I'm guessing you guys can assume that this is a take on a similar palette that we've all seen before, but what I like about this is the theming of this with the sprinkles, and it kind of looks like it's like dripping ice cream, I guess. And I like that the sugar logo reminds me of Candy Crush, like that kind of lettering. And it's pink and beautiful and it's a tin can, so nice and sturdy. Has 18 shadows and if you can tell, it has a similar setup to Too Faced um, chocolate palette in the way that they lay out their shadows, but for the most part, this is completely unique and I really, really like it. Um, so this has a lot of really great unique shades that I haven't found before in any of my palettes. And I've really liked all the matte shades in here as well. So. These three are really nice, um, like nude matte shades. And then this one called Creme Brulee is really, really pretty. And it's just kind of like a muted, taupey rose gold shade. I don't know how to explain it. And then I really, oh, that's sorry, that one's Sugar and Spice. And then I really like this one called Cherry Pie. And that one is also really creamy. And the uh, the formulation of these shadows is really, really nice. And what I love about this is this palette is only $10 and you can get it on shophush.com. If I can find it, if it's still available, I'll link it down below. But if not, they have a lot of great palettes and I think that this one is just one of my favorites that I fell in love with. So um, I really wanted to mention it in case you guys can still get your hands on it, but this one is so, so nice and I would love, 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 love this eyeshadow palette. So I actually have lip products this month, which as you guys know is not the norm for me, but I wanted to mention some lipsticks and a lip gloss that I've been wearing regularly. So the lipsticks I've been wearing are by Rimmel and they are the Kate lipsticks. They're brand new range, all nude shades, so there's a nude for every skin tone and when I say every skin tone, I mean from light to dark, like they are such a, it's such an amazing range. Um, I picked up three, and I could have picked up more if I wanted to, but I got 44, 45, and 46. So I can't remember if it starts at 40 or not, but this one is the lightest one at 44. And I love all of these. Like, I've worn them all like crazy. This is 45, and this is 46. Now you're probably thinking, like, they all look the same. Kristen, why would you get three? They aren't all the same, as you guys, as all their makeup lovers should know. They're not all the same. They have different undertones. So this is 44, 45, and 46. As you can see, 44 is kind of a more of a brownie shade. 45 has a more of a rosy undertone, and 46 
It's just a little bit deeper than 44, but it has a rosy brown undertone. <laughs> so they are all different, I promise. And I'm not just making that up to make myself feel better. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen these or if you haven't picked them up or looked at them, you need to. They're really inexpensive and they're a really great formula, nice and creamy. I wouldn't say they're matte, but they are a very creamy, smooth finish and I really like it. Now for the lip gloss I'm wearing right now, which is kind of worn off, this is my go-to lip gloss. Every day for work, this is what I've been wearing. It is by the brand Dirty Little Secret and it is in the shade Nude Beach. Now first, I love this packaging with the polka dots and the matte black portion up here, the cap, the lid. Um, and I love this because it has, it's a rosy nude, but it has like a gold, a greeny, reddish pink glitter kind of going in it's like a nice duochrome glitter it's a very smooth gloss and it does last all day it's not sticky but it just makes your lips almost feel like more like more moisturized i would say like it doesn't make your lips feel like you're wearing thick gloss but it lasts all day and it feels like it's consistently moisturizing your lips so you really like you don't feel like you're wearing like anything really thick you just kind of feel like you have really moisturized lips if that makes sense. I have one more favorite and then I do have one item that has kind of let me down. My last favorite is the Revitalash Advanced Lash Serum or Lash Conditioner. And I cannot <laughs> tell you guys enough how many times I've wanted to start doing an eyelash serum or start doing um, eyelash extensions, but I just didn't want to fork out the money for eyelash extensions. They're expensive and then you have to continue to go and get them fixed and filled and whatever. And I thought maybe just a serum would work. And my lashes have never been so long in my life. This stuff is incredible. Um, you can get this on Amazon. I got mine in the Nordstrom sale. I got a pack of two for $98. So my guess is like one is like 50 or something, but they are totally worth the money. I know there's a lot of serums out there. You can find dupes for this. I'm sure there's multiple ones that work. This is just the first one I've tried. And now that it's worked for me, I can't really go back to like a different one, or I guess I could, but I really trust this. And I feel very strongly that this did a lot of really great things for my lashes. They also have one for brows. So if you have very scarce brows, you can try that one out as well. But for my personal use, I did it for lashes and my lashes just look incredible and they look long and they look full and I'm just completely obsessed. And you don't need to wear it, do it every single day. I did it every single day for a couple of months. Now that they're nice and long, I'm just giving my lashes a little bit of a break and then I'm gonna maybe do it again when my lashes start to get short again, but they, this is just a really great product and I give this like a 10 out of 10. Like this is something I would swear by if anybody asked me like, what is your favorite skincare or you know grooming product? It would definitely be this product. You guys know I don't like to talk terrible things about products, but I'm very upset about this purchase I made because I love the brand. I've loved everything I've used from them. Their moisturizers, their makeup, their everything. This is a moisturizer. It is called a Replenishing Water Gel and it is by Pacifica. And this brand is one of my favorite vegan, cruelty-free drugstore slash middle range brands that you can get stuff at from Target. and. I needed a new moisturizer and this says hydrate tightening effect and address pollution has great you know good for all skin types it's oil free soothing hydration blah 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 when I put this into my skin it feels like I'm putting hair gel on my face for one and two it absorbs into my skin so fast and it does do that tightening effect that it says but it's not really a tightening effect as much as it feels like it's sucked all the moisture out of your face. So I can't really say that it's doing, I guess it's doing what it's claiming, but at the same time it's not moisturizing, which is the whole reason it's a moisturizer. It's a water gel to moisturize your skin. Anyway, I'm going to try to use it up. I'm going to try to keep using it. It's not hurting my skin, so I guess I'll just keep using it. I don't like wasting my money, so I'll use it, and then maybe I can give you guys an update if it changes, but for right now, this is a big thumbs down for me and I'm very unhappy, but who's to say it's not gonna work for somebody else. So those are my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you can tell behind me, 
things are starting to look a little different. <laughs> um, as you know, I kind of mentioned in my last video that my background is going to be going through some changes. And this is just the beginning. I did a nice coat of paint here on my walls, which you can't, you know, right here. I did a nice coat of paint on my walls. And um, I'm going in a new direction. And you guys will see plenty more changes to come in the next month because a lot of things are going to be happening behind me. But... For right now, um, this is what you guys get to stare at. This nice blue, kind of pale blue background with very minimal things going on. Um, which I'm sure many of you guys would probably prefer anyway. But, yeah. So, anyway, without too much more gibbering and jabbering, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for stopping by. Again, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And all the products that I mentioned are going to be listed. If I can find a link for them, I will link them down below as well if you guys want to try them out. But I think that's it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye, guys.